Lupe Hurtado learned about the social isolation of drug addiction when it drove her to homelessness. There's a lot of stigma. Um, people would, you know, tell us, oh, get a job or yell things at us, throw things at us. A common thing is like going or people driving around the encampments and just laying on their horn. Hurtado now works as a peer counselor with a local addiction assistance group. She says the social dislocation and shame fentanyl addicts sometimes feel makes them less likely to seek treatment. Stigma in some ways equals death for some people. Um, overdose, especially with fentanyl. Fentanyl addicts, especially those who are homeless, can be difficult for a community to embrace. Photographer Melissa Wax recalls addicts living in a park across the street from her home. People were dying in the park. I saw people being dragged out in body bags and just in fires and explosions and drug abuse and fights. And um, as a parent with two kids that walked to school right through here too, it was like terrifying. Um, Public health advisor Brad Feingood says breaking stigmas around fentanyl addiction is critical to treatment, especially considering that trauma often contributes to drug abuse. If what we're doing uh, re-traumatizes people, causes people more pain, then we're going to be in this cycle of um, not, being able to, not being able to heal as a community and not being able to work with the people who are struggling to heal. Community health worker Doug DeJoe is a former addict. He says the opposite of addiction is not sobriety, but reconnecting. Nobody succeeds in anything without a human connection. So these people, at a bare minimum, deserve a human connection. The fatal impact of not getting treatment for fentanyl addiction can be seen on a wall at the Tacoma Needle Exchange, where pictures and mementos remember those lost to overdose. We don't know how long fentanyl is going to be around. We don't know what the next drug is going to be, and we don't know what the next drug after that is going to be. Um, things come in waves, and they affect people differently. The demand for clean needles was replaced by growing demand for opioid reversal kits. Working to reduce fentanyl overdoses, the needle exchange program is installing naloxone boxes next to first aid kits in Tacoma public institutions. Natasha Mosgovaya, VOA News, Tacoma, Washington.